Greetings everyone, this is the Hipster Snack, and today I'm trying out the demo for Peppered, a lighthearted 2D platformer about the meaninglessness of existence. I saw someone tweeting about this and I was like, hey, this sounds kind of like my jam. And... Oh, ah, keyboard controls, understood. Try. I guess that's a fair way of putting it. Rather than play, it's, it's try. Game by Vasily Mo Most. Main artist, Mare Arch Mare Archer. Ladies and gentlemen, has everyone got a good view? Because it's the moment we've all been waiting for. It's the 100th anniversary Immortality Day. Once again, our hero will bring a new life star. And with it, the extended imprisonment of the God of Death. Please welcome the hero of the evening and every other waking moment. Theodore Gl Glagolev. Gave that my best shot. <laughs> Silence. Theodore Glagolev. Theodore? Disaster on Immortality Day. Theodore Glagolev vanishes into thin air an hour away from catastrophe. Where did he go? And who will prevent the return of the God of Death now? It's all in your... Excuse me. Are you ready for your job interview? Follow me. Ah, awesome. I'm just sliding around in my chair. You know, I've thought about doing that at work, but... Nah, my layout isn't really good for it. Can I jump? Oh, yes I can. Ah, I can jump really high in a chair. I'm pretty great. Hey, guys. One hour until the end of the world. Will I listen here appear with the life star? Or will God of Death be free after 100 years of imprisonment? Find out right now why he, we hope he won't. That does sound pretty severe. Excuse me. Did you stop wasting my time and get on to the test? Fabulous. O okay, okay. Just, I was trying to talk to these nice gentlemen here who look... She turned off the TV. I was trying, wasn't trying to watch TV, I was trying to talk to the guys. Current life stars is a task of utmost importance. So we demand a high level of professionalism from every employee. We just have these things lying around? Theodore's still missing, we're all gonna die! The position of coffee boy is absolutely <laughs> Coffee boy is absolutely vital. That therefore requires at least 30 years of experience as well as highly ambitious mentality. This is the most hashtag relatable game I think I've ever played in my life. I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> I already love this game. I'm gonna not bring this up till you do. <laughs> not bring this up till you do. Fabulous, I won't. Here, take this coffee cup. Cool. Fabulous. Put it in the coffee machine. Right here, yeah. You're ready to begin. Oh, and just a heads up. You have one shot at this. Either you pass this test flawlessly, or you lose this opportunity forever. Now, show me what you've got. Oh! 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 <laughs> nice. I... I can't. You have surpassed my expectations. We are but a humble storage company, and yet you still wish to join us. It seems that we truly share similar values. Like courage, honor, and loyalty. I... <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed by the knights. 
There's only been one thing. I've had a lot of self-important bosses in my time, but this really takes the cake. Cynthia, you're fired! <laughs> we found a replacement. Oh, she's crying! Oh, just because she was rude to me doesn't mean she deserved that! As for you, my faithful cohort, I hereby bestow unto you the power of steady income. <laughs> and fear not the god of death, my warrior. His return shan't affect us or the company at all. At all. Five years later, okay. I guess I really didn't bring it up then. Boss wants to see you! What do you mean, why? Don't you hear the alarm? Move! Okay, okay. I finally put my feet down, so... I don't know what the coins are for. Hi? Hey, I know it's crazy awkward to bring up right now, but... Happy birthday! I wish you happiness and the knowledge that the Z button skips dialogue. That's very kind of you. Thank you, sir. There's an avalanche outside. It's closed. The days when it was open are long gone. Boss is in his office on the right. You should know it by now. You've been here for five years. Ah, my favorite warrior. Come, join me. Sir. We've reached trying times, my friend. No clients. Bad publicity. Debts. But worry not. I have a plan. Here. Take a look. Okay, what is your plan, sir? My investors are coming. From the god of death himself. They'll be here for a meeting in 15 minutes. Investors are coming from the god of death? <laughs> See this empty document? You now have the privilege of writing a presentation about why they shouldn't cancel our budget. The fate of this company is in your hands now, my war- <laughs> I think I have a cake in my hand, sir. Ooh. Ooh, you took the news badly, sir. Your wife is going to be upset without you, I'm just saying. Okay. I managed this while making coffee, I think I can- Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh no! This is going rapidly out of control, way too fast! I, I don't even know if I'm hitting the keys right. Up, 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 up! Yes! Okay, I got at least one. Okay, I've... Ah! Ah, that's right! Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> You did it. Did I? You are the perfect pitch. That investor money is as good as yours. Here's what your presentation says. It says... <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> it just keeps going. I don't even know if that was actually what I put or not. I was just hammering buttons and hoping for the best. Silence. You have no idea what you're doing. Judging by the look on your face, it seems you're in charge now. Well, grab your presentation and let's go. The investors are here. Is it too late to join the boss man out the way? No, you know what? Maybe I can just ad lib it. You know, wing it. I used to do it in my college all the time. You have some coffee or... Silence. Yes. Coffee would be most pleasant. Pleasing. Good. Coffee machine's right behind you. Feel free to help yourself. Silence. Let's get started. I won't waste your time or mine. I'll be very busy with whatever it is that you do. We execute the infidels. We manage our lord's investments. We watch PowerPoint presentations. Awesome. Well, we got one for you. I gave you the CEO of this company. The one who will convince you to give us your money. Let's hear it. Give it a shot or... No, let's give it a shot. What's the worst I could... 50 years later. <laughs> if I'm still alive by then, I obviously did something right. Here's another successful year, my friend. Do we need to get the fire extinguisher? This has been going on for a while, and I guess it's kind of awkward after 55 years to mention it, but... Are you Okay. The <laughs> year of living on the sweet money of the god of death. Wait, I pulled it off? How did I do that? Can you talk for a minute? In my office? Ugh, don't let him get to your head. We still got a whole night to party. Alright, I'm coming. Might as well continue my trend of grabbing these for whatever reason. Looks like that, uh... 
Uh, avalanche has gotten a bit more severe nowadays. Turns out the elevator was just a picture glued to a wall. They sold it along with everything else here. Out of sight, out of mind. They sold it. It wasn't just a coffee machine. It was your origin story. Oh, that's harsh. So, listen, you know I like you, but... As your accountant, I insist that we talk about the financial situation. So what do we do now? There's nothing to do. Your business strategy literally says, and I quote, Oh, you guys still have that, huh? There is a non-zero chance that is precisely what it is I typed during that <laughs> explosive quick time event. It just rolls straight off the screen. Yeah, I did write that, didn't I? How's that even a strategy? Who accepted this? I didn't. I thought it was convincing. Shut it! <laughs> you operate guillotines for a living, Chad. Actually, I tried filing for bankruptcy, but my business practice is so abysmally stupid that the only forgiveness for debt that the god of death will give us is, well... None of us are comfortable with this, but we have no choice. I hope you understand. Yeah, alright. I mean, admittedly... Admittedly, this is kind of my fault, so... Oh, hell, <laughs> the god of death. I had a good run. I had to be well into my 70s. Putting you in the guillotine, you couldn't help but wonder. If life could have... If life... Could life have been different? Would things have been better if somebody had stopped the god of death all those years ago? You didn't wonder for long, though. <laughs> no, I imagined I didn't. Because at the end of the day, you knew, at the very least, that there was nothing you could have done. It was out of my hands. Because you were dead. Also that. That's kind of a showstopper, so to speak. Man, I love this already. This is already incredible, and I think I obviously messed around a lot and didn't really, <laughs> didn't really take a very proactive role in everything that was going on. So I'm gonna give this another go because I enjoyed it that much. Ending one of four. Okay, they're very honest about what the demos has uh, going on under the hood. So. Let's try the opposite. Try, let's try to be a little more concerned about the fate of the world. I mean, I honestly think that humanity discovering immortality would probably lead to the absolute worst of human potential. Try again. If only things could have been different, huh? Excuse me. Could you stop watching the end of the world stream? It's time for your job interview test. So, do I just, like, leave? Oh, I can't. Okay. At least not by going that way. Why is it already sprinkling? You guys okay? You got a little bit of a... A little bit running down your, your cheek? You know what? Never mind. It's not my business. It's regular view of the Abyss Town. Upside down buildings. Bottomless pit in the middle. The sense of impending doom. That's one isn't regular at all. Oh, it just it jumps to when I you can't run when it's your job interview. I must do something. Being Mr. Glagolev isn't in my job description, and it won't be in yours either. Prepare the star for him on the balcony. Is as much as we can do. Okay? What? What do you mean just take two steps to the left and put out the fire with water? You can't just make decisions without properly thinking it through. You should really think about the meaning of responsibility. You're right. You, you raise a very good point. Hi. Yes, very amusing detour you decided to make. Can we get back to the interview test now? 
Yeah, you have fun with that. Huh. I'll be the hero of the story. It's the Life Star. The very thing able to stop the God of Death. Completely unguarded. Excuse me. Please step away from our only hope of survival. Look, we have a plan, alright? Make the coffee. And then do absolutely nothing until Mr. Theodore arrives. Which will be any second now. Even though he's six hours late. That seems like kind of a big deal. And we can't contact him. So he's setting in on you too. God, death is almost free. Reason. Give me the star and I'll stop him myself. Uh-huh. What exactly are your qualifications for this task? <laughs> She'll lie. I'm Theodore Glacklev, that was a surprise test that you passed. I will shame her. Good luck with that. I've been here for 40 years and I ain't never seen nobody but Theodore perform the ceremony. What are you gonna do? What's the plan? You're just gonna waltz on stage? And then what? What will you do? Mock. More than you ever will. Yeah! More than you ever will! Right, yeah, fine. Fabulous, fabulous here. Oh, she just gave it to me. Take it. I'm sure no one will mind. Thank you. Quite the contrary, Cynthia. You're fired. Come, my yellow-clad friend. We have a job offer just for you. Get a job. Sure, that's a sensible thing to do. Save the world. No, I'm taking this start. I'm stopping. No, I'm saving the world. I'm the hero now. Laughs hysterically. What? Did you arrange that for me? Stopping the god of death. Magnificent. Show us how it's done, soldier. Yeah, I will. I will, thank you kindly. Ah! Oh, I left my chair! I finally got up off my chair! <laughs> oh my! So that wasn't a joke! What an odd person. Very well. I'll call the police! Ooh! Thought uh, maybe landing on the chair might have been better at that point. Oh! I'm actually standing up! Look at me go! I got a pretty good jump! Look at me go! I'm much more agile now that I'm not scooting around on a roller chair. Ah, the water cooler! The true mascot of any office space. Sobbing deeply. Dear gods, dear gods, have you heard the news? Sobbing continues. Stealing with the Life Star marks the first crime witnessed by the immortal world in decades. Cuts to welfare benefits are already underway, and a bid to reduce the risk of further crimes being committed by the unemployed. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, chummer. I have like a power slide. That's cool. Oh, I can do a combo jump. That's the stuff right there. Theodore Glagolev, a hero from planet Earth. Conqueror of the God of Death, and founder of Life Star Storage Company. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense I'd want to work for a company founded by a hero. Warning. To motivate our employees, the security system is kept on during work hours. That doesn't seem like motivating so much as harassing. Life Star Storage Company entrance. Strawberry? Whoa! Gun strawberry! Hi? Chief, suspect located. Silence. Now what? Follow procedure? Yes. Evening, suspect. Officer Merdeka. Abyss Patrol. You match the description of the Star Thief. I have to detain you for a search. Give your consent. Ha! <laughs> get a warrant, copper! You're refusing? <laughs> Inhales angrily! Chief, is an arrest possible without proof or a warrant? Yeah! No. Rules are rules. You're free to go! <laughs> but, I know you stole that star. And once I find evidence, I will be legally obligated to kick your butt. That's nice. Bye! It's a very neat lighting effect. 
get back to work. But I don't work for this company. I was just there for an interview. Whoa. All right, keep it moving. The thing <laughs> tries to go after me. Progress saved, all right. Oh, I don't need a power slide everywhere. Did any work this weekend? Oh no. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in a corporate dystopia of the most passive aggressive kind. Going home, let's work forever. We cool? Forget holidays, we need you. I need you to explode. Thank you. That that guy up there looks very distressed. Anyway. Oh, hi. I, like, can't believe it, Scoob. First I moved my desk outside. <laughs> now the end of the world's happening. Did I misinterpret my horoscope? Uh, buddy, I got nothing for ya. Woo! Ooh, they eviscerated me. Let's try that again. I have all day, suspect. Chief, I do have all day, right? For this case? Yes. See? Die as much as you like. Well, that's very sporting of you, and I appreciate that. Okay, this time let's not jump directly into the mouth of killing me. I'm just gonna run. No standing any time. Yeah, I kind of see that that is enforced. Eternal gratitude to our hero, Theodore Glagolev. 100th anniversary of his victory and our freedom. Kirk Udvega, the legend, the voice of a generation. And guest star on Bucky Buzz Live's 100 year special. His radio shows are totally still relevant. <laughs> Immortality Day, a 100-year anniversary celebration in Abyss Theater, 10 p.m. at the Eternity Square. Music, parades, existential dread, and free prizes. Ah, existential dread, my favorite. Cloaking out? No, I'm not cloaking anywhere, sir. Dear employees, you can jump higher if you try harder. From the crawling position. For those with feedback or infrastructural suggestions, please feel free to channel this creative thinking into your work. Whoa! I was hoping I could pull off some kind of neat trick there, but that didn't work out like I hoped. Beep boop panic mode activated. <laughs> Life choices. That's a description. Yellow raincoat. Red swim shorts, maybe. Anything ring a bell? Glub glub noises. Was that a positive glub glub? Or glub glub noises intensify. Witness described the perpetrator as Glub Glub. I... I mean, that's fair. They're free to say whatever they want. Woo! Got that one a little bit close. Let's say we not do that again. I think you guys are taking this work security thing a little bit too seriously. I didn't even mean to power slide through that. It just happened to work out in my favor. No, 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 no. Uh, what? Are you okay? Whoops. No, I guess he wasn't okay. <laughs> that was me being greedy. Need to remember my patience. Okay, that worked a little bit better. Alright, this time not be an idiot. Oh, that guy's... You know what? I choose not to dwell on this. Welcome to the marketing department. Dear employees, dying is currently the only way to move around the department. 
No, we don't have the budget to fix this. We have the budget to provide you with free napkins to wipe away the tears. Yeah, that's marketing for you. Are you okay? I can show you a neat trick. Okay. They're serious about that, so, uh... To the marketing department! Alright, you okay? My... K KPI report... Oh, gone! Didn't save! Oh, that's the guy whose desk I fell on! Colleagues, you should really think about the meaning of work ethics. If it doesn't hurt, then it's not a job, it's a hobby. Whoops! Unapproved concept. Well, don't be such a baby! Whoops! Ah, oh, man. Upside is, those guys don't respawn! I just feel a little stupid walking into that like that. What the? Whoops! I think I landed on the water cooler! <laughs> oh, that really is the only way to get around. That's heartbreaking. Down only. Oh, jeez! Where are you? I mean, yeah, but I didn't have time to react! Okay, I think they're pretty much dealt with. Uh-oh! <laughs> you think I'd have learned my lesson by now, but I really am that stupid. Alright, time to haul butt. Whoops! Did I miss the meeting? You know, I find that meetings aren't all that productive to begin with. Missing a couple really doesn't change all that much. Whew. That guy's still screaming. I can hear him from here. Jeez. Dear employees, no, we don't have the budget for an elevator, but we do have good news. Climbing is healthy. I'm sure they're very happy to hear that. Did I go through all of this just to get to that, like, interview? Did I go through this already once before, and I'm just retreading now? That is such a corporate thing. I mean, honestly, this kind of dystopian corporation is at least refreshing in how honest they are. More developments in the search for the mysterious star thief. We have received new information about the person in question. Glub glub. Where are you going? We're on lockdown. Until they find that star thief, nobody's leaving this place. Without one of these. Press a number to move a corresponding block. Apology letter for leaving early? Well... Generally, you should start with the biggest piece first. Placement of blocks is final. Okay, so I should really be careful and think my way through this. No. No. Press C to try again. This might be the part of the Let's Play that really slows me down. work. Can I just... Hmm. So they can overlap. Alright. Okay, on second thought, biggest piece does go first, but let's set it there instead. Since it matches it perfectly. What do you know? If you're not an idiot about it, this puzzle's pretty simple. I'd like to request early leave for the following reasons. First off, I don't work here! Second, I stole the star and I'm going to stop the god of death because no one else will. Silence. 
You, oh, holy crap, respect, dog. Here. Oh, thank you. You know what you want out of life. And listen, don't let anyone tell you anything else, brother. I'm rooting for you. To the end, dog. You too, man. Keep it real. The police are offering $1,000 reward for the identity of the Star Thief. Oh. Well, Mama was right. I really don't have a soul. Oh. That self owned, though. All right, checkpoint. Let's keep it moving, gang. Uh, Chief, perpetrator located. Permission for dramatic entrance. Yes. Oh, hi. I see you still have your strawberry gun. The god of death breaks free. Everybody will become mortal. Chaos will ensue. The worst of all, I will lose my job. That is a big deal, I suppose. Don't have a choice here, perp. Whoa, aren't we going... You have the right to stand there where the bullets can hit you. Dodging bullets is a criminal offense. But what if I just happen to walk a particular direction and in so doing I inadvertently dodge the bullets? Is that okay? Silence. Word of advice, perp. Do things the right way. Or do them in jail. I mean, technically not wrong. Hi. Lots of citizens are scared. No one wants God of Death back. But do you see anybody pulling stunts like this? I mean, me. Exactly. I was wondering if that was gonna slip through the tunnels. Thank goodness for the power slide. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Do the right thing. And let these tasers hit you. Oh. That's very nice of you guys to obey the law at my convenience. Chief, permission to activate gun mode that's actually useful. No. Silence. Copy that. And so the endless waltz. Whoops. The idea was to get that and continue forward in one firm motion. Firm motion. Know what you're achieving? More paperwork. For me. That's it. I'm gonna save the world! You can't stop me! Hmm. Dear employees, the jump platform will launch you higher if you dive kick in. You perform a dive kick by holding the down button and pressing jump in midair. As you do. Ah, oh, that's neat. Look, Perp. If you give up, I promise. The star will be in the right hands. I'll make sure. Everything is going to be alright. It's already in the right hands because those are mine. As 80s action movies have taught me, that's all that matters. Tired, Sai. I swear to the Constitution. Yes, but which? Whoops. Oh, I actually have a health bar for this section. I don't just immediately get roasted. It might actually have been easier to wait for it to hit the stop sign and jump them, but whatever. I always me. Well, I mean, I can't speak for any of your past experiences, but why is everything always so difficult? Well, if it was easy, it wouldn't be worth doing. Oh gosh, it's coming fast. I got a whole butt for this one. Whew. That stop sign just lower its eyebrows. Whatever. I'm out. Hi. Oh, hello there, sweetie pie. 
You're officially leaving Lifestar Storage Company territory. Was Did I literally walk through all this in order to get in? That's really what I want to know. Is your letter of apology in order? Sure is. Hi. End of the line, perp. Don't rush me, honey. I'll let you out any moment now. Uh <laughs> Dear gods, read the rules, will you? One at a time, please. <laughs> they get into single file. Chief. Perpetrators beyond reach. Now what? Let them get away. Yes. You in this room, perp? Strabo, activate protocol 22. As in, catch 22? An important update just in. We received an exclusive photo of the legend Star Thief. Please search the public to assist in tracking this criminal down. But should we just assist or take the matter into our own hands? We've assembled a panel of random hillbillies and disturbed moms to form public opinion about the situation in question. Don't know where you got the idea that you can just do anything you want. I risk everyone's lives trying to be some kind of hero. But you're not going anywhere. I will find you, no matter where you go. Really hope that's clear to you, perp. That's cool. I I'm cool with that. Oh my, I've forgotten what I was reading. All right, come right on through, sweetie pie. <laughs> to be continued. Oh, man. I was not expecting the sudden divergence in genre. Oh, guess we're not done. Can I turn these on? Guess not. Hi? Oh, it's Theodore himself. What's up? Whoa! You know, marvelous! What a show! There's nothing like us using a bit of violence to capture one's attention. What? Oh, don't concern yourself over that, man. He's as fit as a fiddle. We're in the teaser zone. Nothing in here has any meaning or relevance to your story. Speaking of your story, pumpkin, I've removed the safe files. Oh, hush, my love. Not everyone's blessed with a chance to go back and try again. Trust me, I know. If I'd had that chance, my absolute failure of an ex-husband wouldn't be alive today. Oh, goodness, look at me rambling on where there are far more important things to discuss. If you happen to enjoy Peppered, then I'm sure you'll be delighted to know that we are planning to run a Kickstarter campaign. I do not know if that's still active or not. I will leave a link below if it is. When? No idea, honey. <laughs> Soon. But you can stay updated by subscribing to our newsletter. On this website. Or by following us here. This game means a lot to us. It's a project made with unconditional love. With your help, we'll be able to work on it full time. And bring the story we want to tell about the feelings we want to share to life. D uh, fit as a fiddle, huh? Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, okay, let me... Okay, I was not ready for... whatever it is I just did. <laughs> With the one option of getting a job and ultimately condemning the world by an action and then engaging in a grizzled police officer chasing me like I could not tell <laughs> I couldn't tell if the officer was supposed to be a guy or a girl because like it looked like it might have been a dog so the coloration might have been coincidental but it looked like it had a five o'clock shadow so I genuinely don't know uh, and like the cat at the very end I gave the, the weird showman voice to but like then it's like oh by the way this is a female and I'm like whoops I'm rolling with it anyway I don't care this is really really good 
<laughs> this is fantastic. I absolutely fell in love. Like, I'm definitely going to go back on my own time and, and try out for those other endings. I'm assuming that was four or four, uh, being that it's as far away from the first as any could be. Uh, I'd be curious to see what those other reactions do. Um, but this is great. This is a demo, and that was really solid. It has me really, really pumped for the idea of what a full game could be. I don't know if the Kickstarter is live or has gone live. If it is, I will put a link down below. Otherwise, I'll just put the link to the demo on Steam because you guys need to play this for yourselves. It is fantastic. You guys need to try it out. And that's my thoughts. I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to a full release. I will be there day one with bells on, as they do say. This is the Hipster Snack, signing off.